About one in 30 people have chronic headaches. That's when you have a headache on, on more than half of all days, let's say in a 90 day period. And this month is Migraine and Headache Awareness Month. Dr. Ramona Bautista, UF Health Jacksonville professor and chair of neurology is joining us via Zoom this morning to kind of walk us through the science of headaches and also the best way to treat them. Good morning, thanks for being with us. Good morning, Jen. Thanks for having me. So as it turns out, as we learn here, there are actually more than 100 types of headaches. So what are the most common ones and what are the common causes for them? Now, that's right. As a matter of fact, you know, migraines and headaches are not really the same thing. You know, headaches are really head pains from any particular cause, you know, even from, from brain tumors to meningitis to something called neuralgia. While migraines are very specific kinds of headaches due to certain chemical imbalances. So then we're really talking about the group of that population of our viewers who are watching who don't have an occasional headache but have a common headache. And a lot of times that can be a migraine. What are, are there any myths about what to use to treat them that just don't work, that people don't realize? Of course, of course. You know, you know one of the more common misconceptions is that you can actually get away with just treating migraine with just Tylenol or ibuprofen or you know, over-the-counter medications where in fact if you have common headaches, com uh, frequent headaches, you need to be on something more specific for migraines, uh, mi mi so-called migraine-targeted medications. And, and are there some that are more successful at treatment than others? I mean, is everybody's migraine different? Of course, yes, of course. And there are, there are many generations of migraine medications right now. We call them first generation, second generation, third generation. And different folks need different kinds of migraine medications depending on what their particular situation is. It's important for you to have somebody in your team, in, in your camp, a doctor, for example, with an expertise in identifying the different kinds of headaches out there to give you the right treatment. And so there are probably a number of people who can kind of feel that migraine coming on. Is there something that they can do right away to prevent that so it doesn't essentially ruin their day? Yes, of course. We call them abortive therapies. There are drugs out there that if you take it at the very beginning of the headache, the headache goes away completely. And then for someone who is just starting to recognize uh, that these headaches are persistent, as an example, what would be some warning signs that this is something more than something that can be treated, let's say, with Advil or Tylenol or, or when to call a doctor? Of course, you know, throbbing headaches, for example, if, if things like bright lights or, or loud noises make your headaches worse, for example, certain food, certain scents, these are, these are very particular symptoms that, that may be specific to your kind of migraine and for which you need treatment for. And, and who is the best person? Is it to see a neurologist then? Yes, neurologists are actually specially trained to identify and manage migraine headaches. Uh -huh. Dr. Bautista, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thanks very much.